An Indian tycoon has unveiled plans to build an entire village in a remote highland glen. In the meantime, he's bought and refurbished three hotels after being horrified by the quality of local accommodation during a highland holiday. Ian Ramage has the story. Part of this dramatic landscape could be significantly transformed if Sanjay Narang's vision for the future becomes a reality. His dream, a whole new community, creating hundreds of jobs and helping retain some of the region's lifeblood. Having just opened the third of three local hotels they've bought and refurbished, Sanjay Narang and his sister Rachna paused to give an insight into their proposed Glengarry Village project. They hope to buy several hundred acres of woodland and reproduce an historic working village. It would comprise a hundred cottages for sale or long lease, a five-star hotel, four-star guest house and bed and breakfast log cabins. There'd be a cobbled street market, town square and amphitheatre. The intent was to find an absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful location where there's no sign of any other development, humanity, nothing, and in that location create a very old 17th, 18th century style stone village with a little main street, um, a, a town square, a little clock tower, many shops, local shops where people can come and sell their produce where we just give them the space. Mr Narang has explained to Glengarry Village Community Council but if they object, he'd be happy to withdraw the proposal, saying he doesn't want to antagonise fellow residents. He and his sister love the Highlands so much they've relocated from Mumbai. They bought their three hotels after being horrified by the standards of other accommodation nearby while on holiday. They snapped up Whispering Pine Lodge by Loch Lochy, Rokeby Manor at Invergarry and Clooney Inn at Glen Morriston for £3 million. Two of the three weren't on the market but they asked anyway, and happily paid the asking price for each. They've since invested £12 million in refurbishment. Essential to the whole process was maintaining a traditional Highland theme. My sister is very passionate about... Uh uh, she's a student of art history, very passionate about history and character of a place and looks to preserve that as much as possible in every single property we have. If you were to visit all three, they're completely different, but you would absolutely know going in without looking out the window that you're in the highlands uh, of Scotland. And uh, that's what her love is and she really enjoys it and I think that gets reflected in the design of the hotels completely. The siblings say the area is their favourite place in the world and that they can safely balance nature with what would be significant development in a fragile highland landscape. Well, Ian joins us now. What are the chances of this village becoming a reality, Ian? Well, certainly going to be a long and interesting debate. Um, the tourism potential from this could be absolutely massive. It's easy to buy woodland, according to land agents. Not so easy to develop, and especially in the current climate, of environmental awareness. Sanjay Narang has had uh, interesting talks already with the Forestry Commission in Scotland. He's uh, declared his interest to buy. They've said they are definitely interested in selling. Price is unknown. But under current legislation, the Forestry Commission must first offer the option to the local community as to whether they want to buy it. And uh, we await their response. It would obviously be a huge money raising exercise if the community does. No Highland Councillor I spoke to today even knew of the project. They, of course, and Scottish Government ministers will have a say in the planning process due to the scale of such a development. Logistically, it's remote. It would be incredibly expensive to build such a, an empire. Um, and uh, money, of course, at this uh, instance isn't uh, probably a problem for Mr. Sarang. Ultimately, it could hinge on the well-known, the well-versed strength of argument that the Highlands does definitely need more homes. Norman. OK, Ian, thank you.